What's going on guys, JD here from Perspective Captured and today we are taking a look at my color grading workflow on Final Cut 10.4. So I'm gonna be going through some of my old footage just showing you how I would color grade it. All right, so before we get into this, I do know that there's multiple ways of color grading and we all have our own styles and we all think we're right. I'm not gonna take offense if you have a different way of doing it and you wanna let me know down below. Actually, if you have a good way of doing it, let me know down below because, hey, I'm, I'm always learning, I'm always willing to learn and I by no means am saying I do it the perfect way. All right, so here we go, here we are, we're in 10.4 and I'm, we're gonna start with some DJI footage here. And so let's get up our scopes. So I hit Command 7 to bring up our scopes. You can also view the video scopes by going to view video scopes right up here. Um, so command seven opens them and closes them. So I use the Luma, RGB parade and vector scope while I'm color grading. Now you can hit the button up here or you can hit command six to open up your color corrections. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a color curves. I always start with color curves. So I'm gonna, first thing I'm gonna do is bring down the blacks here and raise the highlights. Now I like to keep things separate. So this is the initial right here. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna add another color curves, which is then we're gonna bring in a white balance. Notice our blue, green, and red channels are slightly off. So let's balance them. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring up the reds to, whoop, a little too far. Now I'm gonna drop the blues. Okay, for a general white balance, we've got a pretty good white balance going across, across the board. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to my color curves a little bit and just raise that just a little bit more. No, nope. there we go, right there. Um, this screen, the computer is seems to be a little bit hesitant to what I do, mainly because I'm probably screen recording and doing all of this at the same time. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is add a color board. I like the simplicity of the color board for saturation. So in this particular image, I'm just gonna boost the global saturation until we get a nice, pretty picture, pretty much going through. All right, so this, is, this could be the end of it. I'm gonna go one step further in this particular picture and I'm gonna to go to the hue saturation curves. Um, the actual color of the water down here in Hawaii was definitely more green as you can see around the boats here. Um, and the water out here stretched to be a little bit green as well. So I'm going to change that color. We could just click here, here, and then put one in the middle and change the color. What I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna use the color picker real, real quick here. I'm just gonna click somewhere in the middle. And that put our three points in the general area of the color I chose. So I'm going to now just go slightly up and bring it to a little bit more, put a little bit more green teal into our water here. Um, we could even bring this over a little bit more and bring it up. Something like that. Um, this is pretty close. I might play with it a little more. It also depends if I were to pull up um, a picture out of another camera, I would definitely try to match the color of the ocean here. Um, and this is where I would do that. I would spend a minute or two matching it up in this hue versus hue. So I'm gonna consider this done for the purposes of this tutorial. I will be putting out at some point here, I will definitely be putting out a matching clips tutorial, but for the moment, we're gonna end here. Here's the before, here's the after and the before. All right, so moving on to the next clip. This is another shot here in Hawaii, and we're gonna essentially do the same thing. So I'm gonna start with my color curves. I'm going to boost up the highlights here. It's pushing it a little too much. Okay. Bring down my, and again, I'm going to add another color curves, except this one, I'm not, I'm not going to be changing the white balance much. Instead, I'm going to be adding some contrast. Now I'm gonna, let's add the color board, get some saturation, boost it in a little bit. 
computer is definitely hating me right now with recording, screen recording and color grading. But anyway, so there we go. That's looking much better now. And finally, let's go to the hue saturation curves and do the same thing. We'll use the color picker again. Right there gives me my three points. And let's make it a little bit more teal. And there we go. Now here you can see the before, after. All right, we can go back in if we wanna reduce that, that contrast a little bit, or we can add a lot more contrast if that's your style. Up to you, it depends on what your eyes like and what you are doing for your specific project. Going back, before, after. All right, so here's a clip I shot for a wedding. Um, I just, I already cut it down to just this quick couple sec, this quick two second clip. So let's go in and do a quick edit. So I'm gonna add color curves and boost it a little bit. The next thing I'm gonna do here is I'm going to add um, a color board, but I'm only gonna boost the saturation in the midtones. I really want to make his skin a little more lively in here. See if you know, if you look at the skin, gives it a little bit a little bit more color. Boost that even a little more. All right, now going to I want I'm the next step I'm going to do in this particular image is I'm going to go back to curves and I'm going to add a lot of contrast. So let's boost this up here. I'm really going to bring this down. I'm liking somewhere right around there. And finally, I can do it in here. I can add a new curve. Let's add a new curve so I can show you what I'm doing here. Now I'm going to add a little bit of teal to this picture. I really think it makes his uh, suit and suit pants here look really pop and really come out. Just a little bit, adding a little teal to that the dark area and on off. So there we go. So now going up to the effects, this is after and before. And that's about it. So this is the this is my general workflow for color correcting in 10.4. Now, if you want to move layers around, you can do that. So if I just for example, um, if you are doing something specific, like I'm going to add a color board here, and I'm just going to kill the saturation, right? So now if I go back to the order of operations, the color board is the last thing. So we made everything black and white by adding the color board to the end. But if I move the color board up one, it's going to give us slight, some slight teal to it. We could add a little orange to the, to it. So if I were to do something like that, if we were to add a little orange and teal look to it, so let's go back, let's add, um, let's add a color wheels layer here. Now if I'm, I'm going to add a mid tones layer of orange to it. Now, if I go back out here and I shut off the color board, now you've got the orange and teal look, but I'd want to come back in here to this one and make this stronger. So there's an orange and teal kind of look. And in this case, we here's the before, here's the after. So that's just another look you could go with, another option. Oh, I'm even gonna punch in on this. This is shot in 4K. I'm even gonna punch in and let's give give a little bit of There we go. So, there we go. Alright, something like that for there punched in that might be something I put in a in my wedding highlights film all right so I know this was quick and easy and fast I hope you enjoyed it hope it gave you a little bit of my flow for color grading um, I'll spend a lot more time on an actual project than on some than just showing you my color correction workflow but that is generally how I do it and I know you may have your own opinions you may have your own way of doing things go ahead and leave them down below on what you do differently and that's fine Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, make sure to leave your life stories and questions down below. And I will see you in the next video.
please make sure you subscribe on your way out. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. Try.